you should not set goals for 2022. Hi, this is Jason Daniels with Move Up in Real Estate, and you should really not be setting goals. Let me explain. You should be setting commitments, not goals, because goals tend to not be reached, and someone that sets a commitment, that means you're committed to the outcome. A goal is more like you're hoping, hey, I hope we sell this many homes or I hope we you know, make this much income this year. So what I recommend you do is sit down and you are gonna do some planning. Write down what you'd like that dollar figure amount to be that you'd like to bring in as far as gross commission for sales. Many of you out there are individuals, some of you may have teams, you can reach out to me and I'm happy to you know, assist you with any uh, annual planning if you have specific questions after you watch the video. But really what you wanna do is look ahead. If you're brand new to real estate, you're probably gonna to wanna to find a mentor, talk to your broker, talk to your team leader. They most likely have um, something to help you plan, but if not, reach out here to move up in real estate, we'll help you out with that. But you're gonna to wanna to look at how many transactions, is usually the easiest way I recommend to breaking it down. How many homes do you wanna sell in 2022? And then look at each month. Now, some people say just divide it by 12. So that works sometimes, but also you have to look at seasonality. That's getting fancy. So at this point, you don't need to get fancy. Just divide it out by the months. And then what you wanna do is create not um, milestones, but what we call micro commitments. And that breaks it down to what are you doing from a monthly basis after you know set your annual goal, monthly goal, break it down into weekly and then daily. What are you doing on a daily basis? Those are the things that you need to commit to. You need to show up, whether it's phone calls, whether it's meeting people for lunch or coffee, what, however you want to structure your business, that's what you want to do is micro commitments and really stay focused in increments of 90 days. We follow EOS. It's a system that uh, was created by a gentleman named Gino Wickman. You can Google that, learn more about that. It'll help you get really organized, especially if you do have a team or a brokerage. Uh, but you want to take a look at that 90 day window. You want to plan for the whole year, but you really want to sit down and plan for that first three months of the year and break down your daily activities. And then you can make sure you have a tracking mechanism that you're following up to keep yourself accountable. I recommend you get a mentor or a real estate coach or someone that you can report to that can help keep you accountable to your commitments. Because if you don't have anyone to help you stay accountable, most people, even myself, um, end up not hitting those commitments. So take a look, if you're an experienced agent, take a look at what you did in the previous year and determine, do you wanna increase it by 50%? Do you wanna double it? Do you wanna triple, you know, triple exit, like three times what you did last year? And then you need to really come up with some strategies around how you're gonna do that. You, know, you can't just wish and say, oh, I did you know, 20 transactions this year and I'd like to do 80. So it's really important to set commitments that are smart, that uh, you know, that's an acronym uh, for specific, measurable, uh, attainable, realistic, and trackable. Again, that's a really important acronym to, uh, acronym to remember when you're uh, setting your goals. Another exercise that we like to do for planning is called the SWOT exercise. It's S-W-O-T, and that stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and strengths and threats. So you're gonna, you're gonna write down what are your current strengths internally in your company or if it's just yourself, what are your strengths in the business? You're also gonna look at your weaknesses either in yourself if you're an individual agent or in your business. What are the current weaknesses internally? Then we take a look at the external factors out there which would be what are the opportunities out in the marketplace for you as an individual agent, for you as a team leader and how can we capitalize on those and then finally, you wanna look at what are your threats? What's your competition? Normally, we, we don't say worry about what your competition's doing, but we just need to know where they're at and know if there's any potential threats, uh, not just from competition, but the market, other industries, you know, the technology sectors coming into play, and how does that affect you? So it just gives you a global a picture of all that. And then lastly, you wanna decide what are your pillars of your business? And we've talked about this before. One could be referrals from your sphere or past clients. 
One could be internet leads that you buy from realtor.com, Zillow, um, other referral partners out there. It could be from farming, it could be from door knocking, circle prospecting, whatever those are, I recommend that you, you pick at least three so you can be diverse and then just master those. You don't need to change that up and stay committed. The word here is committed. You wanna stay committed to those instead of, um, hey, this month we're gonna try this, this month we're gonna try that. I promise you, you will double your production if you just go deeper on the areas that you know you can do well in than going wide and trying to try too many things if you don't have the hours or the finances to do that. So these are just a few small tips. Don't set goals for 2022, make commitments. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. You can uh, message me here. Um, all the information is below or on the page. So I wish you the best of luck, but really uh, luck is just hard work dressed in overalls. That's a quote from Henry Ford. Have a happy holidays, have a happy new year, and plan for commitments in 2022.